In this video, you will see Kelly and Maria thinking about a calculus problem about antiderivatives. As they work on the problem, consider the obstacles they encounter and think about how you might solve the problem. Find a function with the following derivative, f of x is equal to 2x cubed minus 4 over x squared plus pi. Okay, so I think we just first take the derivative. Sounds good. Okay. So we have 2x to the third, so that becomes... 6x squared? Yeah. Okay, so find a function with the following derivative. So I oh. guess we're supposed to go like backwards? Yeah, because if this, I don't know if how to do that. the original was the derivative, then we want to undo it. Okay. To get, okay, what did we have first to get this as our derivative? Okay. So maybe if we like added one. Added one. To the coefficient and the exponent. I mean, I don't know if that will work, but we can try it. So we started with 2x to the third. So maybe if we like add one to each and we get 3x to the fourth. Sure. Uh, well, when we take the derivative of that, we get 12x to the third. So that didn't work. No, but you didn't get the, you got the exponent that you wanted. That's true. So you did want that exponent. We just don't want that coefficient. Right. So maybe you just ignore the coefficient and add one to the exponent. So if we did 2x to the fourth? Yeah, so just change the exponent and leave the coefficient alone. So we would get 8x to the third. When you find the derivative. That's still not right. We want 8x to the third instead to be 2x to the third, right? Yeah. So we want to divide it by 4. We could do that. <laughs> I don't know. Just, you know, because that's what we want in the <laughs> end, but I don't really know. Why? So then we get, we're getting, doing that. 2x to the third. I mean, that works, but. It works, but I feel like we just kind of did it to make it happen. Well, so 2x to the fourth divided by four. When we took the derivative, that turned into 2x to the third. Yeah. So that means the first term for our original equation is 2x to the fourth over four. Which is just a half x to the fourth? Yeah. Okay. So we have the first thing. Okay, so now let's worry about minus 4x squared, okay. or over x squared. So maybe when we rewrite that for negative 4x to the negative second. Okay, so now what did that come from? What did we derive to get that? So we just add? These ones are both negative, so maybe we can try adding one to each of them again. Add one to each. Okay, so yeah. we get negative 3. X. Times x to the negative first one. Okay. Yeah. Which is almost what we want. That's true. We just need four. What if we make the negative three a negative, or get rid of the negative? Because when you multiply the negative one and the exponent by it. Oh, and then just make it a four. Just make so it a four. So if we had four x to the negative first. Four x to the negative first. Okay, sure. And then if we took the derivative of oh, that. Oh, yeah, you're right. Look at that. You get Perfect. negative four x to negative two. Okay, so the next term is negative four x to the negative first. Or is it just four? It's just positive. Oh yeah, 4x. just four x. Okay. So our first term is this one. The second term is four x to the negative first, which is four over x. Should we just add a one to the exponent, pop an x next to it? Yeah. Well, that's what we were doing with the other ones, right? We just added yeah, to the exponent. Yeah, this one just doesn't have an x. Well, we predict the derivative of that, we get pi, which is what we want. Okay. That works. So our original Second equation, x. oh, pi x, there we go. It sh so this derivative should have come from 1 half x to the fourth plus 4 over x plus pi x. Yeah. Do we... Now we have to find a function with the following derivative of sine. Oh, dear God. Cosine. Okay. Cosine is a negative sign. Ah. Uh, rings this, a bell. <laughs> still doesn't make it 2x. So um, maybe if we're trying to find what made the derivative, we can just make these arrows go the other way. Yeah. Sure. Where did sine come from? So, so sine came negative from negative sine. Oh wait. Oh, sine came from cosine. In it, if we start with sine on the right, 
to go to cosine, oh. you need to have a negative sign at the beginning. Okay. So do you think we can just stick a negative on the cosine? Maybe it'll even out? Sure. Let's try it. Okay. So now if we take the derivative of negative cosine of 2x, it should give us okay. sine of 2x. Sine. Oh, but then we have to take the derivative of the inside of the parentheses. So then we would get mm. times 2. Okay. But... Oh, but you know what we could do is we could put this divided by 2 to get rid of this one. Okay. So if we again took the derivative of this one now, negative sine goes to positive cosine. Wait. I mean negative cosine goes to positive, positive sine. sine. Yeah. So we would have it's sine like a double negative. of 2x times the derivative of the inside, which would be 2. But then we have to bring down this divided by 2, which kind of cancels out. Sweet. So now h of x equals 1 over x. Maybe well, we've just been adding 1 to the exponent. So let's just, let's say that it came from x0, x, zero, x up to the 0 power, which is 1. But then we lost the x. <laughs> well, okay, wait, wait. So if your original equation is 1 and you want to find the derivative of 1, what would it turn into? 0. 0. So we can't just add 1 to the exponent like right. we were doing before. When you take the derivative? Yeah. Well, you have x to the negative first, we'll just go to negative 1 times x to the negative 2. Mm. But how do we get a derivative of x to the negative 1? So I really don't know how to do this one. No, I don't know. I don't know where to start, no. and I feel like it would kind of be helpful if we had some rules for yeah like I think we taking. figured out the last ones but it took us so long yeah and I would not be able to do that again no especially not with like a new function yeah in this video Kelly and Maria tried finding functions that had f g and h as their derivatives after some struggle they guessed for f and g but were stumped about h we'll explore how to find these functions in upcoming videos